symptoms like sore throat. 41-year-old Michelle Hart began feeling common symptoms of COVID-19 in late April. She tested positive for the disease. Pretty soon her symptoms began to change. So it really started to affect my central nervous system quite a bit. Um, I started to have a lot of weakness, numbness, hard to stand. As well as shooting nerve pain, she was diagnosed with a condition in which the body's immune system attacks the nerves. She then tested negative twice for COVID-19, only to have her blood pressure skyrocket with even more symptoms. Just horrid, horrid nausea. Um, like can't move, can't breathe, can't blink nausea. <laughs> she was tested again. Two days after that, she called me and said, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but your test came back positive. I know that this coronavirus is different than any viruses we've dealt with in the past. Dr. Phil Stahill is with the Medical Center of Aurora. He's skeptical this coronavirus can reinfect patients, but says the way it attacks the body remains a mystery. Each patient and treatment is different. Each case has been very individualized. It hasn't been a very cookie cutter recipe for everybody. COVID-19 symptoms vary widely and can include mental fogginess, even delirium. They can be cyclical and linger for months, prompting the expression long-termer or long-hauler. Yes, absolutely. I consider myself to be that. The Survivor Corps Facebook group to which she belongs now has 65,000 members. As Hart rides her COVID-19 roller coaster, she says some doctors have regarded her condition skeptically. She's also well aware this disease is not at the forefront of many people's minds, that many simply want to move on. And I get that, and that makes a lot of sense, but coming from my lens, my perspective, you know, it's a nightmare. She was quarantining when we spoke to her. What's the toughest part of what you're going through right now? The first thing that comes to mind is the isolation. Being isolated from my family, again, is hard. Um, after having been isolated for such a long time already and worried that I've infected some of my family members now. Recovery from COVID-19 can also be long-term. Many of our patients, when they're discharged here, they have to go to rehabilitation as inpatients for several weeks or even months to regain their strength, their function, and particularly the lung function. Shooting nerve pain consistently. I'm having it while I'm talking to you. Heart, a psychotherapist who's been unable to work and can barely get out of bed some days, just wants some answers. We really, really want doctors to begin to take our symptoms and our experiences more seriously, that they're real. I would love to have any type of help possible at this point. This disease is sticking with us more than we ever could have imagined. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.